Welcome to Old Friends and New Roads. My name's Keith. So, I think it's time for a trailer update. Uh, it's been a while since I've put out a video in that series. Um, and I'm going to be honest, it's been a bit of a struggle. So, like, I was wanting to replace the tires, the bearings, the shocks, and the airlines. Um, the shell's in super good shape. Um, that way, it'd, it'd essentially be a new trailer. But um, they don't make the shocks anymore. And... You can't find, it's really hard to find exact duplicates of dimensions. So I, I ordered a set of shocks that I thought was correct or would work. Um, they're much bigger in diameter than the shocks I have. And I've had to modify them to get them to work. So like the eyelets, I had to drill out the eyelets so that I can get a bushing that was the correct dimension so that it would bolt up top and then the bottom side the eyelet is so wide that it won't slide on enough to get enough purchase so that I can get a nut on it so I think the plan is to get a sex bolt for the bottom so that the female end of the sex bolt is also kind of like the bushing but will will thread on um, I know that's that probably doesn't make a lot of sense but I feel like I'm dialed. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, so we got an overnight coming up in a couple weeks and um, I'm going to pull the trailer as is. So I ended up getting the new tires on and the guy just offered to do the bearings. So sorry, Eric, uh, bearings are done, brother. Um, tires look dope super stoked on that and the old the old shocks they seem to be holding air so um you know i have some concerns on going all the way to alaska and back but let's see how an overnight goes um and i don't know so today i'm getting the trailer back together so that we can pull it in a week um it's not painted well i mean it's painted which a lot of guys have commented on the paint job that they really like uh and i like it too it's fucking rad uh but you know i have this plan for this you know all these logos and whatnot but i'm just gonna bolt it back up together get it cleaned up uh leather treatment all the components i've recoded the underside um and it's looking pretty sharp so i don't know hopefully we get some more footage today of uh the old trailer pulling so stick with me all right Quit fucking around, do some work. Yeah, per the last video, uh, garage status, uh, level shithole. <laughs> so, man, one of these days I'll get to it. It's just too messy. Uh, don't look over there. All right, I'm procrastinating. Let's get to it. All right. Got it all back together. Let's have a look. All right, I'm gonna get it loaded up with all our camping gear. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna try to set the suspension. Uh, I think I'm gonna load the trailer, put some two by fours in my driveway and, and roll the trailer over it to try to get it to bounce and set um, dial in the the air pressure and uh, get on the road so I'm looking forward to this all right got it loaded in there it's not pretty it's just just weight purposes um, kind of put the heavier stuff to the back tongue weights pretty light I don't have any ice in the cooler but you know it is what it is so I'm gonna get this uh, I'm gonna set up the two by fours like I mentioned, roll it over, add air, roll it over, kind of do that jam so that I, let's see if we can get this dialed.
All right, so pretty legit negative camber. I'm gonna add some air to it, square it back up, test it again. All right, so it passed the bump test finally. I kept, have to add air, bump it, it would negative camber. I would add air, bump it again. But when I'd, I'd add air, I have to kind of lift up on the wheel well so that it would, so that it would go. But I think we're sitting pretty good right now. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a short jaunt, check my pressures, check the cambers and then uh and if we're still holding good i'm going to do a little bit longer of a one i don't know if uh i don't know if the bicycle pump is the move might be too much air but i don't know if anybody knows uh comment below i'd, I'd be happy to hear it um i'm kind of familiar with air shocks because you know both my baggers before i put you know, the aftermarket suspension in them had air shocks in it. So I kind of knew what weights meant what, but it's a new sort of game. Uh, and I think I need something more accurate for measuring the pressures that I'm actually running at. The bike pumps just kind of bullshit. So uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get loaded. Let's get going. Short test worked. Time to get back on the road. It's holding pressure, so let's go a little bit further.
Well, just did a quick 60 mile trial run um, and everything went went perfect pretty stoked on this uh, you know it's an older trailer older components um, I was trying to freshen up the components but it's it was difficult so uh, we are ready for our overnight to give it a real world test and see how it does so uh, so my trailer's not done done, but it's probably be the end of this series for a while. Uh, beans how I can pull it. Um, man, if you like this series, just go ahead and, uh, you know, subscribe, click the like button, do all that stuff. Uh, you know, I put a lot of effort into it and I'm going to keep doing that. So, um, unfortunately, because I've up my editing regimen, um, it's harder to get videos out as often, but you know, I'm pretty constantly working on content and trying to turn it out. So, damn, click that button, brother. Thanks. Take it easy.